never answered my question before. Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this warehouse? Someone kept tipping off the cells we were tracking. I guess Dale came here to investigate. Why would he do that alone? Didn't he trust you? My partner, my friend, could be out there somewhere. Then go find him. I just keep wondering why Dale would go into that warehouse all by himself. Me too. Any idea why your case notes and his aren't matching up? What are you talking about? I want you to tell me why you're lying about last night. Now what about that song? That song he taught you, that, uh, the one that makes you happy and sad at the same time. Play that for me. I don't fracking remember it, and even if I did, I wouldn't. Come on. Play me a song. I won't hurt. Come on. Come on. I'll show you. It's easy. It goes there. Mm. Something's missing. Oh, it's the left hand. Listen, I'll, I'll play down here. I think I know. I think I know what you're doing. Now. Hang on. We're very excited about Malcolm. Are you really? Well, perhaps this will convince you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just say yes. Malcolm will be going to Badgley next fall. Let me help. Between 7 and 7.30 p.m., where were you? I drove home to change my shoes, kind of tight and pinching my heel. And? Halfway there, I turned around and drove back. Without changing your little pinched shoes? No. That's a strange story. Sure couldn't make it up. Well, why did you turn around and go back to the hotel, Mr. Judd? I just had to talk to Brooke again. Even though your heels were being seriously pinched. I need you to come out and check out his boat. Now? You ever see one of these? Yeah, but never that big. Uh-huh. I got half an hour for lunch. My office is just up here. What the heck happened to Nick's boat? Who do you think it is? Who? Preston Blake's nephew, the $40 billion man. We have to meet him. Dave. Oh, you should be uh, thanking my great uncle. He was a pretty interesting man. I served on the board of the Guggenheim with him. He writes greeting cards. Do you write your poems with a crayon, Deeds? <laughs> oh, 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 it's amazing. <laughs> You're a Cambridge man. Class of 85. Though, to be honest, I probably spent more time in the pool than in class. <laughs> I'm a Stanford man myself. Ah, well, nobody's perfect. <laughs> so, to uh, answer your question, Franklin, I bet on people, not dice. Is that so? Yes, I'm in the insurance business, you see. I run a little company called Pacific All Risk. Oh, with the adorable chimp. That's the one, yes. <laughs> Wait, Joan, don't touch that dial. It's me, King of Kings, the Almighty. God is doing the news. I know. You hoped it was an isolated instance of mental breakdown and that your life would just return to normal. I still don't know your name. How about I tell you tomorrow? Same time, same place. Oh, oh. Sorry. Good night. Good night. She didn't leave me, I left her. Did you ever stop thinking about yourself long enough to consider what you did to your kid?